All right. It is Thursday, September 3rd, 2020 at 5.28 p.m. All right, guys. So I'm making this video about um, the missing soldiers. All these Fort Hood, Fort Bragg missing soldiers that have... Uh, died in mysterious A national spotlight is shining on Fort Hood after after they've died in mysterious circumstances. That says here, 26 Fort Hood soldiers have died this year, officials said. Fort Hood, Texas. Fort Hood officials report 26 soldiers have died this year in accidents, suicides, homicides, illnesses, and pending cases. One additional soldier died in Iraq. So we got 26 soldiers that have a suspicious circumstances that are that have uh, been missing and people are looking for them and it's just a lot of weird cases it says here missing Fort Hood soldier found dead family says and growing toll of death stare it says a body found east of Fort Hood on Tuesday was a soldier missing from Fort Hood his family's attorney said Friday adding the toll of service members at a Texas installation who have vanished or died in murky circumstances in recent months. So there's been a lot of mysterious deaths on these uh, military installations. As says, U.S. Army removes Fort Hood commander, names commander to look into Golan case. So they removed a commander so they could uh, get uh, another commander in there to start looking at these missing people cases. It says the U.S. Army announced Tuesday it is replacing the Fort Hood commander while also appointing a senior commander to lead an investigation into the handling of the disappearance and death of SPC Vanessa Gillian. The commander of Fort Hood, Major General Scott Effelund, was removed from his position Tuesday and will no longer assume command of a division at Fort Bliss. Effinet will remain at Fort Hood for now, serving as duty commanding general for support. Starting Wednesday, Major General John B. Richardson IV will take over as deputy commanding general at the base. Recent months have seen multiple soldiers turn up missing and later dead from the base. Recently, a man was arrested in killing of three, including one soldier from the base. So that's really mysterious that they're having people being killed and people missing at these um, installations. It says body of missing Fort Hood soldier 23 is found hanging from a tree after he alleged sexual abuse at troubled base which he now which has now been linked to at least 15 deaths this year alone. ID found in the body temple Tuesday indicates it might have been Sergeant Fernandez. Fernandez was reported missing on August 19th. Killing police said he had not been seen since August 17th when his staff sergeant dropped him off at home. He has transferred units after reporting sexual abuse. Officials said on Sunday Fernandez's backpack was with him and police found his driver's license inside. The disappearance of Fernandez shed light on a string of tragedies that have plagued the Texas Army base. Fifteen soldiers connected to the base have died this year. So a lot of people missing a lot of people dying and apparently now sexual abuse as well so that's one of the things that I find you know intriguing about these cases is there's sexual abuse there's harassment so it's coming from within itself somebody in there is trying to harass and attack these soldiers. It says Fort Hood soldier dies in boating accident, marking the fifth soldier death within months. So this one uh, passed. Yeah, this one passed because of a boating accident, and it wasn't something as mysterious as the other uh, missing reports. But it's still a, a death at a fort. It says a Fort Hood soldier died in a boating accident weeks after another soldier was found unresponsive in the same area on Stillhouse Hollow Lake. The body of 24-year-old SPC Francisco Gilbaltro Hernan Vegas was recovered on August 2nd, officials said in a release. According to Fort, Fort Hood, Hernan de Vegas, a New York native, joined the Army in 2017 as an automatic rifleman. He has been assigned to the 1st Battalion, 5th Cavalry Regiment, 2nd Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st Cavalry Division since December 2017. He was also a decorated soldier, re receiving multiple honors, including the National Defense Service Medal 
Korean Defense Service Medal, and Army Good Conduct Medal, Overseas Sur uh, Service Ribbon, and the Army Service Ribbon. So this person was well decorated and apparently passed away from a boating accident. So one thing to look into when you look at all these deaths is who is doing it. Who is looking to profit from killing all these you know, um, soldiers. What are they trying to get out of it? Sexual abuse, um, you know, just trying to murder people, I guess. That's something that would point to either a psychopath or, or a group of people that are attacking soldiers on purpose. So that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And see you guys next time. Pray for the soldiers that remain in Fort Hood and Fort Bragg. And all these military installations out there, please pray for them. They need your prayers. Alright guys, see you next time. God bless.